Hey everyone, it's Davey from Ellisley He Said. So today I'm going to go back into my record collection. This is my record collection part two. To start this off, I'll give a little preface. If you've not watched the first video, I would really recommend going and doing that. Uh, there's a link in the description below so you can check that out. But just to preface, we are starting at the back at Z and working our way up to A. So today we have some records in W through to T and uh, we'll continue on that path through the record collection. So I have two records by this artist. This record is called Return to Life and it's by War of Ages. This is from 2012. So back, they press this on white vinyl, which is cool. Single-sided printed lyric sheet. Let's talk about this record and War of Ages. War of Ages are a band from Erie, Pennsylvania. They are kind of from the school of uh, Disciple and Brothers Keeper and that kind of hardcore but with more of a metallic influence. They're probably about 70% Lake Effect Hardcore and about 30% Dragon Force. They've got kind of that Lord of the Rings, like, battle metal theme running through their music, but they, they are pretty much a metalcore band for all intents and purposes. They are on FaceTime Records, and I really enjoyed this band. I got to see them and put them on uh, more than a couple of times in the last few years, which has been a real privilege. They are really good, good guys as well. And uh, yeah, their music is definitely good, motivational, like metallic hardcore or um, I guess hardcore tinged metal. As the music goes on, it seems to get more metal. So I have one more record from that. Come more of Ages record, it's called Eternal. This is the front cover and the back cover. Weirdly, this doesn't have a lyric sheet. Coolest colored vinyl, purple splatter. I like this record a little bit better than Return to Life. It's a bit more hardcore. Um, bit more uh, melody in there as well, which is quite nice. Um, they have Sunny from P.O.D. featuring on Failure, one of the tracks on there. And uh, yeah, it's a good, good record. Moving on, there is a drastic change in genre here. So uh, this is Violent Reactions LP Marching On. So this is the front cover, the back cover. So with the lyrics there and the credits there. My version of this is on a gold with a nice big X in the middle. A Violent Reaction. Uh, history lesson. They are from the UK, they're from London. This record's out on Revelation Records, which is a really big thing. Like, I can't remember the last time a UK band were out on Rev Records. They definitely have spearheaded this new wave of British hardcore, which is a real thing. Um, members of this band uh, also play in Arms Race, they play in Obstruct, they play in uh, like a fair amount of the bands that are coming out on Carry the Weight records and Quality Control records. Obviously it's a straight edge band, that's really important. Um, Tom does vocals for this band and he seems to drum for just about every other band as well. Uh, they broke up at the beginning of this year and uh, they're in so many other bands so I'm sure that there's plenty of good stuff to check out. Violent Reaction, City Streets, there's a front cover, back cover, full printed sleeve, so there's the little bit there. Lurks on the back. It opens up with like a full picture of the band as well. I believe this came out before Marching On. This has got Jimmy uh, playing in the band. Uh, he now does vocals for Higher Power. Black Vinyl. Uh, this is out on Quality Control Records. I want to give a big shout out to Alex from that label. Um, she does an amazing job of putting out records and she plays in Arms Race as well. So listen to Arms Race. Um, I don't have any of their music on vinyl, so you should just go check out their new LP, New Wave of British Hardcore. The next record I have is this. This is the Unbroken Box. It has three panels in it as well, so that's the inside cover there with one of the back panels. There's two more there. I never got to see Unbroken when they did that reunion show in London. Jamie, who was in that Lush video, always ribs me about not going to see them. So yeah, I'm really hoping that they'll do another like benefit or something. This Turnstile, non-stop feeling, there's a back cover. I'm imagining this record's probably got shown quite a lot on YouTube as it's a, quite a popular record. It's got this cool book, that book too. A cover with a cool poster of the band. Lyrics here, more there. Trapped Under Eyes broke up. Members of that band went in to play in Angel Dust and in Turnstile, I think. I got to see this band in a couple of places. I've seen them in the UK and I got to see them uh, in Paris as well a while back. I think that's where I bought this LP. Um, it was on this Persistence tour with Sick of It All. I totally haven't shown the colour. It's, um, it's green. There you go. A lot of love for this band. It's, um, it's really groovy. Um, it sounds like... Uh, I don't know, I feel like it's the hardcore that, that Rage Against the Machine 
Faith No More fan once. <laughs> this is a good band. If you are into hardcore, modern hardcore, and you haven't listened to Turnstile, you probably should. So I have this, this is Trial Through the Darkest of Days, and it also has the foundation 7 inch on it as well. There's a back cover, there's a little insert there, some lyrics there, like a dirty clearer vinyl, lots of music on this. I'm going to talk about Trial in a minute, I have another Trial record. This is Trial Are These Our Lives. This is a, a pretty original copy I think. Nice printed inner sleeve. Here we go with the lyrics. My copy is on brown vinyl. Um, I have to check Discogs because I'm sure there's like a bunch of colours of this. My version's on Panic Records. I know that they are a good label. I've got some other stuff from them too. Trial I got to see uh, a couple of few years ago. They did this uh, UK tour with By the Grace of God. And I remember the show was like so poorly attended. They didn't book any supports. It was at the Camden Underworld, which is like a really great venue to go see UK hardcore and like any kind of hardcore at. Like there's no barricade, it's stage dive central. I know whenever like Terra or H2O try and play in London they always try and play there just because it's a really good atmosphere. However there were like 30 people at this show and um, it was just the two headline bands playing and it was kind of weird. I got some food early in the day and I hung out with my friend Joe. Um, we went to the Black Heart and there used to be like a vegan eatery right there. Um, yeah, it, weird show, but like Trial were great. Like they still have not lost it. And um, Greg has this like spoken word talking tour thing going on at the moment. Um, so you should go check him out. I think he's touring with some hardcore bands at the moment. I think he's touring with Hollow Earth who are really great. Um, so yeah, go listen to what Greg from Trial has to say, he's a really good dude. So in the last video I talked about Death Wish Fest, where I got that Young and in the Way record from. I also picked up this, which is Trap Them Blissfucker, as the back cover. This is on a, this is on a gatefold, which is pretty cool. Heavyweight clear vinyl. So this is the inner sleeve, and there's um, some credits there as well. This is out on Prosthetic Records, it's in 2014. I'm guessing that's probably when Deathwish Fest was, um, or it's 2015 maybe. Um, but that was their most recent release. Um, I've listened to a lot of Trap Them in my time, but that was the first time I got to see them. I remember the singer like bloodying his head on the microphone, and uh, yeah, that was a pretty intense show. I think Trap Them have definitely got some very like polarizing fans, like people that just really intensely love them. And then, like, for people that are kind of, like, passing through, I guess, like myself, but I really enjoyed this band. Uh, yeah, that can be quite intense, but it was really great. Onto the Mortise. So, Touche Amore, Stage 4. I have shown this record, and you can go watch the old videos, and you can find it there. It's on Beer Colored Vinyl. Um, one of my favourite records of 2016. So, I have two versions of this record. I'm going to show both of them, because they both have really cool features. So, this is uh, Touche Amore is Survived by Black Vinyl. I bought this from Touche Amour at a UK tour when they were touring this record. This is the cover that's done by Jacob Bannon. Um, I really like Jake Bannon's artwork. It's great. The guy from Converge, right? I really wanted this version. I kind of <laughs> have another version too. So I pre-ordered this and I got the big book thing for the back cover. So they've done this thing where it's like 180 gram black vinyl. It's like filled with pictures of the band. It's got some pretty cool artwork in there too. I'm not going to go heavy into this, like, go and find one on eBay or Discogs or something if you want one. I think this is, like, one of my favourite records that I have, though. Like, I love the book, and it's, like, really nice to have that kind of accompaniment with a record that makes you want to get deeply involved with it, so you're not just, like, putting it on and doing stuff. Like, it forces you to, like, sit down and appreciate the art that people have made. I also have the classic Parting the Sea Between Brightness and Me. Um, I saw them on this tour as well. So that's printed in the sleeve. That's the back of that. Mine is on this nice pinky red vinyl. My last record for this video is a Touche Mori record. So this is out in 6131. And this is, of course, To the Beat of a Dead Horse. My version is a cool gatefold vinyl with the lyrics inside. I have it on white vinyl. Parting the Sea Between Brightness and Me was the record that I really got into. And I listened to that on repeat time and time and time again and uh, they just had me hooked so everything that they've put out I've been a fan of um, and I've got to check them out. Um, any 
I, I was a fan of them before this happened, but any band that AFI take out on tour, I've got a lot of love and respect for. And when they took out Touche Amore, I was like, yes, I'm glad that this band is being seen by a completely different audience. That about wraps it up for today's video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be making another record video, hopefully next week. So I'm gonna try and keep these really regular. As you can see, there are lots of records to go through. I'm probably gonna end up with something like 10 to 16 record videos of just my collection. And then we can kind of put a bookend in on that and anything that's new that I'll get in will be nice and up to date. And maybe I'll make a video about 7 inches at some point as well, and other size vinyl. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't watched the first part, go and watch that. Um, if you enjoyed the other record videos, they're all on a playlist on my channel. So go check those out too. Uh, see you guys soon. Take care.